Hey, what's up editors? This is Corsair from ReEvo with AMD Log, and today's topic is particles. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the basic spark effect. Um, I applied the same thing in my AMD Log intro, you'll see some sparks flying in from there, and if I rewind some more, you'll see some more complex sparks flying out over here. There's also some over here with the color effects, and uh, it's pretty simple, and I'll teach you guys how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is go into layer, new, solid, um, any color is fine because we're just going to take the same layer and do effect, simulation, particle, world. And now if you scroll through this, you'll see we have some particles flying out. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, usually I turn the grid off, so that's not too helpful for me. I just like to see it as it is. And you'll also notice here we have a lot of properties we can work with. So physics, um, that's your physics. Um, you got velocity, how fast they fly out, and gravity, which I'll usually turn down to zero so we get more of a fireworks-like effect. Um, we also have the actual particle settings. Uh, there's lots of different types of particles. Um, some popular ones I like to work with are lens convex and lens concave. Those are the little circles. Um, but for this uh, example, all we need is line, and I think I'll change the birth color to white. That's the color it starts out as, and the depth color to an orangish yellow. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So um, now what we're going to do is make the spark effect. So if we close up these properties, we'll notice here we have birth rate and longevity. Birth rate is how fast these particles appear, and longevity is how long you want them to stay out. So I'm going to leave the longevity alone, but I'm going to start the birth rate at 2, fast forward a little bit, and then set it to none. So that way, if we scroll through this, it just flies out. Like fireworks. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. You can also, if you want to touch it up a little bit, apply Twitch to your text and your particles. Um, I have an example right here. And now you'll notice they're just flying around with the text, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, have fun with that. Questions and comments below. See you guys soon. Alright guys, questions and comments really quick. Uh, never end is totally right. Um, my method was pretty newbie. You don't have to go through that much trouble. Uh, try throwing the wiggle expression right onto the clip you're shaking. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Um, Mr. Anna X, uh, there are some things that you probably only can do in After Effects. There are some limitations to Sony Vegas's abilities, and you should definitely look into getting that. Um, also, Mr. Anna X, to your second question, you could apply an effect to the whole track. If I go to Color Curves, and let's say I wanted to optimize the color real quick, I could just drag that onto the track itself right here. Now, if I just let this brightness ridiculously, um, you'll see it on all of these. So uh, yeah, thanks again guys, good luck, have fun with it.